So when you're looking at a trading strategy, most traders will look for support and resistance um, um, levels and combine them with you know things like Fibonacci, um, stochastics, and um, you know various others. But um, regardless of what indicator, and even if you're trading just pure price action, there's really only three main strategies that traders tend to have and they are breakout traders or breakout trading retracement trading and level trading level trading right now what we understand about forex is that it's a zero sum game so for, so for someone to win someone else has to lose so what we need to do as um as traders is understand when our opponents are in trouble and here is a perfect example of trouble about to occur now i don't know whether you know what's going to happen to price you know in the future no one does but if price does do a certain thing right like this i know something about traders who got involved in this trade this morning on a breakout because everyone's taught to do what look left yeah that's where they're going to look to the left and breakout traders trade breakouts so they're looking to the left and they're seeing that's a level and then in real time right here on the right hand side of the screen on an, on an hourly chart this is a two hourly chart doesn't matter what time frame you're trading on um but from an hourly perspective and the reason why i chose an hourly is because that's a common time frame that traders do trade look at this you know as you can see all these small candles small candles small candles and then you've got this massive candle so breakout traders trade things like momentum moves yeah so you know they're, they're told that you know the trade the trade should continue so you can see it start to continue and as traders will be getting in what they do is they will have to place their stop stop loss somewhere normally put it behind some sort of swing or it could be some figure where it's like what's that maybe around about five ten pips you know below that level right so that's their risk reward they try and go for more than they risk one-to-ones of for mainly for you know uh, traders who really suffer from um uh, loss aversion but you know they're in the money at the moment yeah so they're probably not looking to take any profit anytime soon because you know they, hopefully prices should go to the moon right then they start to get price action that really starts to fail them yeah starts to fail now as prices start to go against these guys yeah as prices start to go against these guys oh sorry i think i've tried the wrong one that's it yeah and they place their stop loss right here what do you think is going through their minds this morning at seven o'clock in the morning eight o'clock close of that hourly candle you know everything was looking lovely and now everything is looking uh, they're feeling a lot of pain now traders who generally uh, um, Don't trade with stop losses and traders who are not disciplined enough and move and remove their stop losses And many of you who are watching this know this to be true that about moving your stop loss and for various reasons Not everyone is disciplined. In fact, I would probably say uh, Not as a percentage but a high percentage of traders are not disciplined to tend to move and remove their stop losses because they've over You know over um, they've maybe put five percent on the trade. They're in a bit of a losing streak, etc and uh you know how many times have we seen trades and price stop you out and then go in your direction but what happens is as they start to move and remove their stop loss as prices go against them or if prices you know continue to go against them they dig themselves into a deeper hole yeah and this is what happens instead of losing one percent five percent ten percent um you know which is uh not recommended um at all right that that compounds and turns into uh you know a lot and you know looking at the unrealized profit or unrealized loss you know the, the pains feel worse than gains feel good and that's what loss aversion is all about so you're in the traders inability to take a loss when prices are going against them so what's happened is as a summary they've been drawn in they've been captured by price action they've committed to the price going higher and they put their money in the game when they press buy now traders the trade is going against them they're going through the pain phase and if they are lucky enough if they are lucky enough depending on how much pain they endure if they are lucky enough 
to potentially get out of this trade. Let me just uh, drag this all the way up. If they can get out of this trade anytime soon, especially the traders that ended up entering on probably FOMOing in at the highs as well, entering at different positions all the way up at the high, yeah. If if prices come back up to this level anytime soon, and if what I think is going to play out does, then this is going to be what is known as a relief zone. A relief zone. Why is that a relief zone? Because if traders who went long here, yeah, bought, they have to do what to exit? Sell. So they're going to need some relief because the next best trade in the book, yeah, is, is a winning trade, then it's a, a small loss or a break even trade. So they're going to thank their lucky stars by going through all this pain, yeah, looking at the unrealized loss, I wouldn't even say profit is loss, and then the pain of that, and then they want some pain relief, which is here, yeah? So they bought here to go long, they have to sell to exit, and anyone who is trading levels, resistance, resistance, still turns to resistance in the future, is gonna get what short here, so that adds to the supply and demand equation or the supply equation at the level. So you've got traders who've been relieved, you've got traders who trade levels to the underside of that, they're entering new trades, and then you're probably gonna have, if this does continue to fall and come back, traders who are trading, uh, who are basically taking profit at levels. So they might buy somewhere around here and then look to take profit in an area, yeah, that they're gonna that they probably think that price is going to reverse because it reversed here in the past so why it may reverse there in the future so if it does reverse there then they probably want to take profit before or at around that level because they don't want to be left holding the bag so if they buy here then they have to sell to take profit all right so you've got all this potential supply and who is buying who is buying where is the demand coming from Yes, yeah, so lots of supplies, supply orders, and not much demand orders. Yeah, if this continues to go to the downside, which it is, you're seeing pain in real time at the moment. You are seeing it, and many of you guys who, you know, have traded and who didn't get out are feeling it right now. You're looking at your account and you're thinking to yourself, this trade was good. I should have taken profit up top, but I don't. Maybe this trade might come back. Maybe it won't. And the more this, you know, if, if this does come down, again, nobody knows, but if this does come down, it's going to add to the pain. And then you're going to wish that you've got out for potentially your original loss or your small loss around here, or even some sort of break even trade, which is all going to be around here. So in real time, I know something about these traders that they don't know about themselves. And that's how the zero sum game works. And what I'm doing is just taking advantage of the supply and demand equation at this area because I know that these traders have been captured and they're gonna to add to the supply equation when they end, um, end up exiting their trade. So you kind of have to think about trading from the perspective of your opponent. It's not nice, but it is what it is. And this is how uh, trading um, in, in Forex and any, every market really where you've got a broker there's someone on the other side of your trade yeah so that's how we look at levels at trading 180 and if you want to know more you can go to trading 180.com and take the free course um, guys I hope that uh, helps and I will see you um, in another video take care so if what I'm saying resonates with you, why not check out trading180.com? There is a selection process to trade my supply and demand zone forex strategy. I'm only looking to work with uh, individuals with the right mindset, you know, who are hard working as well. So um, check that out and access really for less than one pound a day. This Some of the strategies in here are not for beginners. So if you don't know what supply and demand is, please check out all of my supply and demand videos. I have hundreds of videos on YouTube, so you can check that out first. Um, guys, take care and until the next video, have a good one.